Look at all this delicious, chemical-free, hormone-free meat. Today, I'm gonna show you how to raise your own homestead hog. Everything you need to know from A to Z. And hopefully, that will encourage you to raise your own hog. Let's go. Welcome to Becky's Homestead. The whole idea of my homestead is to raise healthy food. I'm sick of eating the garbage food that everybody else raises that they're just doing it for money and they add chemical wormers, steroids, growth hormones, and they have to give them antibiotics because they keep them in filthy pens. So I wanted to become a homestead so I could raise healthy, clean food, so to speak. So I love having my hog, I have my farm fresh eggs, I have my gardens outside for my healthy fresh vegetables, and it is just awesome to raise all that food yourself where you know it's uh, clean and chemical free. Right now I'm gonna tell you about some numbers. I paid $35 for the little piggy when I got it. I bought an average of two bags of feed a month, each bag approximately $11. I, the pig was 256 pounds. When I went to pick up my meat to butcher it, you know, slaughter the pig, butcher all the meat, cut it up, wrap it, was $170, which I feel like is such a deal. So to have all in, if you want to take all those expenses into consideration, it was $340. And if you divide that up into how much meat we got, it ends up being $2.20 a pound. But that is a good deal for really good meat that doesn't have any hormones in it, no growth hormones, no chemical wormers, no antibiotics because the pig stayed healthy in the pen and um, it's very good tasty meat and we've all had some lousy meat out there so we know what that tastes like this is really good high quality meat this is not even all the meat half of the meat is in the freezers we already put it in the freezer because it wouldn't fit on the table it lasts us a long time because you know we don't have a family of little little ones coming up so i don't slaughter the pig and butcher the pig myself first of all i don't have the setup you need a setup you need a place to hang it when you slaughter it. There's a way to do it. I've seen it done and I've, I've you know, been there when it's done, but I don't have the setup. Also, I don't mind supporting a small local business. I am very happy to do that. They have the skill, they have the setup, and you know, I just am happy to support them. So it works perfect for me. How we get the pig to the butcher is we use our horse trailer and we have everything set up outside to make it easy. The way we back the horse trailer up to the pen, the way the, the hog pen gate swings in, and we just open the horse trailer door and back it right up there so it's just a hole. The pig only has one way to go, and that's into the trailer. And we skip dinner the night before for the pig. And then by morning, we do it first thing in the morning, we go out and it's breakfast time for the little pig, so he's waiting for food. And then we just coax him into the trailer with some food. It's easy peasy, it's so easy, anybody can do it. Okay, some of the meat I got is regular sausage, hot sausage, I have some hams, I have my ham cut in half, pork chops, which I love the pork chops, bacon, pork chops are good on the grill. I have bacon, which of course is good with our farm fresh eggs. Gotta love that. And there's a lot more meat in the refrigerator, the ribs, the freezer, I mean the deep freeze. Um, I'm trying to even think of all of them. There's a Boston butt, there's ribs. Um, I get the ham hocks, smoked neck bones for when I do beans, you know, in my crock pot and all those dishes. But I wanted to mention included in the price of having it, you know, all chopped and everything is smoking it. They smoke the hams, they make the sausage, they smoke the bacon. All that was 170, which like I said, I feel like that's a great deal. On my website, beckyshomestead.com, I have a lot more videos on raising a family hog. Included in that is how to build the hog pen, which is a very important step. So please go watch them. So I highly recommend that you try and grow your own homestead hog to feed yourself and your family. You will not be disappointed. If you enjoyed this video, please push the like button. 
Also, subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.